Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Dead Space. I'm Snow, and if you're just joining us right now, then what is wrong with you? Go back and start from the very beginning. Okay, let's open up any unpleasant surprises for us when we step out the tree on this time. And... Oh! You've got two problems, and we're working all right. time here. First, there's okay. no fuel in the engines. Second, the gravity centrifuge is offline, which Where's means there's a the couple engines? of trillion tons of rock pulling us down. I need you to get that centrifuge operational. Refuel the main engine and fire it up so I can stabilize the ship's orbit. Okay, if we have the materials necessary for me to refuel the engines, like just lying around, then there's no excuse for it to not have been refueled. This is getting ridiculous. I mean, seriously ridiculous. But, okay, this seems fairly straightforward, despite how ridiculous it is. But anyway, before, um... I got, I got, I resumed my story. There's something I wanted to address. It's something that I often get asked a lot of times. Um, if I have these amazing magical powers that I can use to fix, oh, pretty much any f injury or sickness, why don't I come do it on this earth? Problem is, I kind of can't on this earth, because with the exception of time travel, there's no way for me to come to this world with my magic intact, and that's because of reasons that I... What's this? Is that audio? Oh, audio, one second. Personal log. Acting Chief Engineer Jacob Temple. It's been two days since they pulled that planet open, since my captain died. The panic, the riots, they were nothing compared with what came after. Our friends, our co-workers started coming back. Changed, coming back to kill us, drag us away. Rucker disappeared this morning, and I have to assume he's dead. My crew, they're starting to crack. I'm trying to keep an eye on them, but right now I have bigger problems. We're hemorrhaging fuel, and the primary engine is laboring. Danvers and I are going to try to reach the fuel depot to see if we can fix it. Temple out. Okay, that's interesting. So, the planet, they cracked a the planet open on the same day that the captain died, or relatively close to each other. I'm not sure how significant the information is. It could just be a coincidence or not. Uh, do I have anything to hawk? Yeah. That, because I'm using pulse rounds. Um, seems like a healthy amount of ammunition and a healthy amount of health. Okay. Uh, what else can I get? No. Okay, that should be good for now. Um. Okay, where was I? Uh. Can't, uh. Yeah. I can't use my magic on this earth without wait let me back up there's no way for me to travel here except for time travel to this world and keep access to my magic when i leave this world this earth that all of you listening watching and listening to this are probably on wait where do i go okay that way uh the, the earth that you're all watching and listening to this on um yeah it's hard for me to get here with my magic attacked and Time travel isn't very reliable. Let me just say that the rules... If you're going to ask me what the rules of time travel are, I'm going to... Yeah, yeah, I'm not buying it. You are way too attacked. I've dealt with zombies plenty of times. I know the rules. You see a zombie surprisingly attacked, lying on the floor. It's not... It, it's still active, and you shoot it. Yeah, I'm not stupid. Although... I will give you points for trying. It's more intelligence than I would expect. Oh, another audio log. Let's see what this is. What in hell is going on here? Danvers, he's Henderson. He's crazy. He's pulling his own teeth. Oh, no. Henderson, jeez. Oh, God. Is he dead? Relax. He's alive. But he hit that door pretty hard. Man. Why would he do something like that? I don't get it. Ah, oh, jeez. I can tell you from experience, having your teeth pulled out hurts really badly. And again, I was lucky. I could f I fixed it immediately with my white magic. This guy. Um, ooh, what's this? Flame fuel. Uh, might as well take it anyway. No point just leaving it around. But yeah, having your teeth pulled out hurts a lot. I uh, It would have hurt even worse for me if I didn't have white magic to fix it. So, yeah, I can't imagine the pain that guy's going through. Um, oh, we are supposed to go this way. Okay. Ah, uh, jeez. Walking through dead bodies is never pleasant. And oh, is this another? Oh, it's a text log. Okay, let's see what this says. Oh! 
Oh, this... This is surprisingly, uh... Uh, hopeful. Sounds like some of the people actually might have escaped. You know, I thought everyone died. Oh, yeah, only one node. Well, I'll make sure I have at least one. But yeah, it's starting to sound like at least some people escaped. So, um, where was I? Uh, yeah, I was getting over. I can't use my magic on this world unless I get here via time travel. And, yeah, time travel, okay. Um, if you ask me what the rules of time travel are, I'm gonna have to say that all of them. Yeah, all the rules of time travel apply, but only sometimes, depending on how you time travel. Time, tra time travel is so, um... The rules depend, all change depending on how you time travel, where you time travel, and when you time travel. At least I think it's so inconsistent that it's hard to tell. The only, I repeat, only save time to time travel is when your future self comes back and says, "Hey, you gotta go do this," and here you do it with, like doing this. If your future self has done it, then that means they they know how to successfully time travel and. Uh, okay, yeah. So I grab that bullet here. Alright. So yeah, but your future self comes and tells you that it's safe, that you gotta time travel doing this to go there with that, then yeah, it's usually safe to do it. Um, okay. Uh, what else is here? So yeah, it's the only time it's safe to time travel. Oh, geez. Okay, so I think that covers what I wanted to get out of the way in the beginning. Uh, back to my story. Um, yeah, last time we just got to bed after Spoons had possibly infected the rest of everybody with some strange demonic whatever via an arrow made completely out of stone. Uh, okay, there we go. The lighting is so terrible in here. How? Do I, I'm not entirely sure that the lighting is because I see lights. All the lights I see are on, and the lighting is still terrible. I'm not entirely sure it's. Can I? Let's. Okay, I I'm not gonna just toss you. There we go. Out of the way and not dumped into the pit. You're still intact enough to be buried and recognized. Actually, I probably should have broken a few limbs off, just so that he couldn't infect him. You know what? Never, never mind. It's too late. And I can be bothered. Okay, um... Yeah, Spoons had potentially infected the rest of us. Well, me and my brother had already been infected with some strange demonic whatever. We weren't entirely sure. Uh, that's not a good sound. And we had just gone to bed because it was night and there wasn't really much else to do. So, when we all woke up the next morning... Oh, I see. We all woke up the next morning completely fine, so... Okay, well, admittedly, Phyllis had a bit of a headache, but sometimes she wakes up with a headache if she doesn't have her medicine frequently enough. It's... She, she had suffers... Earlier in her life, she had some headache problems, uh... It was... It was a weird alchemy action that happened. I'm not really privy to much of the details, because it's not really that important to me. All I need... All I know is that... All, the only important thing is that she had headaches for a while, um... Oh, jeez, you're still intact. They went away a, uh, like a couple of years after the adventure, so it was fine, but nothing out of the ordinary. So yeah, that was a good sign. Or it might not have been a good sign. It's really hard to tell with demons. It, it's so confusing sometimes, but... It was more good news than bad news, because... Yeah. So, uh, upon waking up, we cornered Spoons before she could leave, and... Oh, what's this? I don't know. Shut it, Danvers. Shut it. Engineering log. Temple reporting. Someone has shut off the fuel lines to the primary engine and damaged the valves in the process. They need to be repaired before I can reopen them, but we're running out of time. With the engine offline, orbit decay will begin in less than ten hours. I just can't understand who would do this. If it's one of those crazy unitologist bastards, I'll break their neck. Unitologist? Shut up, Danvers! Help me with the tools. Out. Okay, I realize that that's the name of the cult that that weird crazy doctor guy belongs to, but something about that name just fills me with sense of impending dread. Like, it's some horrible evil that I faced before and really 
I'm not too happy to have faced before and don't want to face again. Something something about the name just fills me with a oh no, not this again kind of feeling. I, I'm not sure what. Oh yeah, I got a feeling I'm unfortunately going to find out. Uh, oh, saying the wrong button. Okay, reload. So, oh, is that an, oh, no, just body parts. Is that, okay. Yeah, so anyway, we cut, we all, uh, cornered spoons before she could leave to go, just, just forging around for a rant for, well, whatever she could find, uh, outside on the surface. Why? Wow. And uh, yeah, I, okay, I, I'm remembering this right. One second. Um, yeah, it was at the it was at the oh schematics for a ripper. Okay. Sounds like weapon. Is that? Are you to All right, that's awesome. What have you did? It's working, Isaac. I have a few reading. It's only a quarter full, but that's enough to restore orbit once you put the engines online. False alarm. No, no, you idiot. There's no such thing as a false alarm when dealing with zombies. Never. You assume that every false alarm is just a, a zombie being sneaky. You must always assume that. It's better to look crazy than dead. I won't be surprised if that false alarm meant to kill them. Oh, there's one there. Okay, so anyway, uh, we cornered her around the dinner table. Uh, not dinner table, it's just the food table that we usually eat at. We cornered her at, oh, geez, these things. at the table, and we all confronted her about it. Spoons! Why'd you, why'd you cut us all with that thing? Uh, actually, I forgot who was the one who brought out the first question. Uh, actually, no, I think it was my brother who asked why did, why she did that, yeah. I, I, everyone kind of started just screaming, so it's hard to tell who was talking first. But I think it was my brother. Uh, but, okay, that's one I got already. And... Is this...? Yeah, this is it. And the so spoons! Um... Well, she didn't really realize what she... She had done anything wrong, and, well... Spoilers, in her defense, she actually didn't do anything wrong. It's... It wasn't what we thought at all. Oh, I'm just gonna spoil that. I'm not gonna say what it was, but just... We weren't just gonna turn into horrible demon creatures. No, that... That wasn't until much, much later in a different adventure, and that was only temporary, and it wasn't quite what it sounds like. Nor was it as interesting. And I saw you. I saw you. And you're hiding somewhere, like, not... You're, like, on the ceiling or the walls or in some kind of vent, waiting to jump out of me, aren't you? Yeah, you guys are smarter than you look. Actually, I wonder if this marker thing is controlling them. That would explain a great deal, if it were, or if Relief was directing them. That would actually explain a lot. They seem strangely organized, but at the same time, when you get them in a fight, they're really stupid. Okay, yeah, so the Marker is trying to gather up an army of mutant... mutant zombie humans... to do... I'm not honestly sure what it's trying to do, but something bad. I mean, yeah, it could be trying to communicate with us, but it's... No, no, no. This is too hostile for communication. For at least benign communication. Maybe it's trying to defend itself. Maybe it feels threatened. I don't know. That's that's more of a possibility than I want to admit. Uh, where do I go? Okay. But yeah. Uh, Spoons was confused. Like, why are you so upset, guys? I gave us all superpowers, which... Well, it's kind of weird since we already had strange powers, like magic, in some of our cases, and whatever ninjutsu qualifies as, because no one but practitioners of ninjutsu really know what it entails, other than fancy ninja tricks. Because they're kind of tight-lipped upon what about what they can do or how they can do it. And Spoons, despite being kind of ditzy, is really good at keeping that, that secret. She's never lip, let it slip at all what she can do, or at least besides the obvious, like, some strange apparent teleportation and where am I going? I something over there? I, I can't see it. What's this? Oh, I have right. But yeah, I hate the lighting here. Yeah, I I don't see any broken lights. And th unless maybe those are broken lights. I think, possibly, but yeah, the lighting in here is horrible. I, and I'm not sure this is completely due to damage. 
This might be somewhat horrible design flaw. Oh, oh jeez. Oh jeez. Can I? No, I just sort of teleport backwards when I punch the wall. Okay. Oh jeez. So yeah, um, Spoon's really didn't understand why you were all upset, and oh, that's what we kind of told him. Oh, Spoon's, we don't. For all we know, this might be some sort of demonic arrow thing, and we might be infected by some sort of demonic influence. Spoon's just kind of giggled and said, "Don't be silly. There's no, there wasn't any. Oh." Okay, my leg came off. And I flopped to the ground like a rag doll. Yeah, okay, why not? So Spoon just kind of giggled it off. Like, oh, you guys are being silly. Whatever you did, oh. it's working, Isaac. I have a few reading. It's I can just ignore you, sir. Oh, oh, jeez, no, I gotta fight these guys again! I forgot, does that kill them instantly? No, you did see something! You never think you see something, you always see something! Ugh... This guy is a soldier, I'm not buying this. Seriously, this was... This was year two curriculum, how to deal with the zombie invasion! They're supposed to teach you this kind of stuff! I mean, really... I, I mean, my final paper for year two in the academy was developing a zombie plan! That's what everyone's final paper year two is. And look at you! No, no. There might be zombies. There's zombies here, but I didn't see anything. You go such a trick of the mind. No! You always, always assume that you saw something. Ugh. You know what? I've worked with people in the military before, at various militaries before, and I can say that the military intelligence oxymoron isn't really a thing, but... If I only had this game to go on, I would assume it was a thing because Hammond's dude should be smarter than this. And oh, I'm on the other side. Yeah, on the other side, okay. Oh uh, yeah. I don't have a lot of faith that he's gonna make it if he's acting this stupid. He had to he, he couldn't even Outright kill. Wait. What? And I don't actually yeah, I remember that guy, but I don't. I didn't see him. I never really saw him. I don't think. He just disappeared. Ah, oh, jeez. Disappearing zombies is never a good thing, mutant or otherwise. Well, unless somebody makes him disappear and they sort of. Actually, no. It's not even good then, because then you're not sure what happened to the body. And that's that's not a good thing. Oh, man, I hate the lighting here. Health back. Okay, so let me just get back in here and I'll call it and I'll pause it. Pause the video. Or no, cut it off here, that's what I mean. Ah, oh, Jesus again. Oh, should be fine. Uh, oh, jeez. I've, actually, that's a good point. Why doesn't Hammond have armor? He's the guy in the mil- he's the- he's the army man. I'm actually not sure armies forgot what his exact rank or position is or what branch he's in, of the military he's in, but he's in the military! He should have better armor than I do. This is- this is just- uh Keel up a bit. Yeah, this is just sad. I mean, yeah, I can understand an engineer having better equipment than a guy from the military, but to not even have armor. Okay, I'm just gonna go to the shop and then I'll be back. So, everyone, this is Snow signing off.